I mean, yeah, on the mound, uh, probably our top uh, returning pitchers are Ben Richardson, who uh, pitched Friday nights for us last year, uh, probably pitched Friday nights again for us this year, uh, A.J. Smith out of the bullpen, Craig Savage out of the bullpen, uh, some of the new, the new pitchers uh, adding to the mix, uh, Logan Browning uh, start a weekend game for us, Cameron Haynes will start a weekend game for us, uh, Mitch McCarthy is going to be a big, a big key out of the bullpen for us, kind of a sidearm pitcher, which we haven't had uh, in a few years, so we're, uh, we're excited about that. Uh, position player-wise, you know, uh, replacing Jalen and Chris is going to, you know, it's very tough to replace, but uh, returning, we got Dominic Brignoni, who led our team in average uh, two years ago. Sam Machonis had a great year last year. Blake Swan, Jason Sierra, all those guys were looking to be uh, big parts in the middle of the order for us. And uh, some of the newcomers, uh, Logan Browning, not only is he going to pitch, but he'll play right field in DH, uh, probably lead off for us. And um, Mitch, uh, Mitch Reeves, going to play third base, and uh, looking for him to have a really big year. Had a great fall, uh, showed a lot of power, uh, uh, big time average. So looking for those guys, to uh, the returners, to, to stay where they were and the new guys to come in and, and pick, up his, uh, you know, pick up the slack of what we lost. Uh, definitely, definitely the pitching staff. Um, you know, we had some injuries last year. We kind of went through the fall. We went through the fall with seven pitchers in the spring, uh, not much more than that. So, uh, you know, being able to, to, to go to the bullpen early if needed uh, is going to be huge for us where some of our starters numbers were inflated last year only because we, uh, we didn't have the depth in the bullpen, especially playing a doubleheader on Saturdays. You know, you got to save uh, as many arms as you can. So, uh, you know, Ben Richardson, you know, being the, the biggest, uh, biggest part of that, his numbers were inflated big time because on Friday nights, uh, if he didn't have his stuff, we were pretty much telling him, "Hey, man, sorry, you're gonna, have, you're gonna have to go most of this game." So uh, it was unfortunate for him and, and especially for AJ Smith also. So this year, I think uh, our starting rotation and our bullpen is going to be the most improved. Um, you know, we opened up in, a, in Augusta, a team I don't really know too much about, but uh, we're willing, they were willing to play us, so we got them on the schedule. And then West Florida after them is always a battle for us. It'll be nice to get a couple games under our belt before we play them, but that's always you know, a powerhouse in the country. So uh, it's, it's a tough way to start the, start the season for, for both them and us, but uh, we, all, we always look forward to playing them. Uh, we've got Mount Olive at Mount Olive non-conference, which is another tough you know, 40-plus win team last year, always a, always a strong team. Uh, we go to USC Aiken in the middle of the year, uh, in the middle of conference, another another powerhouse team, and you know those are just those aren't counting the teams that are in our conference, which you know, in in my opinion, the strongest conference in the country, uh, with you know Tampa, Nova, St. Leo, Lynn, Barry. I mean, it, it just goes on and on. Um, Florida Tech, you know, I mean, even you know Eckerd, Rollins, every, everyone everyone has has gotten better, and we continually have multiple teams that have over 30 wins that don't make the postseason.